okay hello you guys welcome back to another video if you are new here welcome i am jasmine katrina and thank you for choosing it that is my dog onyx who y'all seem to love who is just infiltrating my content space but anyway hello welcome or welcome back to today's video so today i was trying to do a fall must-have um video and then i realized the more i was pulling different pieces that these are not necessarily must-have but i think these make for great transitional pieces so it's you know we're heading into september um i'm not sure by the time this video comes out if it's already september if it is happy september i wanted to just pull some pieces together that i do think make the transition from summer to fall a little easier and a little aesthetically pleasing a little fashion forward are easy to layer and take off and things like that so i'm gonna dive right in um i tried to pull a handful of pieces and i also have some shoes options just to help as recommendations too so let's get into it first one of the things we'll start off with the cardigan the cardigan that i'm wearing i do think look at <laughs> i do think that cardigans are extremely easy to transition from summer to fall mainly because one if you are like me and you work from home or you work in an office it's usually always colder in these places yes bud hi um it's usually colder in those places so whether you're wearing like a tank top or a mock neck or whatever layering something with like a cardigan it could just help keep you warm in the office but also you could take off if you're heading outside or you're going to be out for the rest of the day things like that so this cardigan which i'm going to do a side by side on all these items but this cardigan i think in any cardigan really i like as a summer to fall transition um like today for example it's probably in the 80s but it's not humid so it gives you enough wiggle room to be cute be comfortable be stylish and um and still feel like you're in the summer months but you know you're heading into the fall next up we're gonna go right into it this is a vest uh top this is the one that i wore when i mentioned that i was feeling like meredith blake and y'all i love this i actually just bought another one in a chocolate brown color but i'm doing a whole separate video on the sir i'm doing a whole separate video on those items that i'm grabbing from target so some of that you'll see in here but I got this from Boohoo. I love this color on me. I love the way it fit. It's just a perfect transitional piece. I didn't even really think I was gonna like vest tops, but I really, really, really like them. Um, and the best part about it is that, like I said, you can dress it up, dress it down. I think when I wear this, I had jeans on. You could easily pair this with trousers for a more business casual look and some loafers, mules, or heels. You could um, keep it casual, like I said, with jeans and some loafers, flats, sandals, heels, whatever. And if you needed to, you can also throw it on with a blazer. I think that blazer, vest, and like pant look is just really sleek, really chic, and uh, really attractive. So you definitely want something like this in your closet. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, y'all the y'all little fur nephew here is getting on my nerves. So let's hope he behaves. Okay. The next piece are button ups. And I think everyone loves this, but I personally grabbed two. I have a white button up. Um, and then I have this one from Boohoo. I really wanted the Kalana Barfield Brown one in her collection, but it sold out so fast. So I felt like this was like my next best option. Um, I do have some button ups in like a green, a brown, white, and now this one. I'm probably gonna get a couple more white ones. But anytime you want to just dress up or transition your items, I think a button up will just do the trick. I easily will pair this with some jeans and some loafers or flats or sandals. I would dress this up with like some trousers, maybe a skirt and a heel. I just, you they're so versatile that you really can't go wrong with how you decide to transition this item from season to season. So yeah, if you don't have a button up already, please look into getting a button up. Primarily you might wanna start off with neutrals like black, white and tan or cream um and then obviously just a lined pinstripe one can never you can never go wrong and you can always find them at like a thrift store walmart target boohoo whatever so h&m you have plenty plenty of options this next piece is from h&m and this is a mock neck mock turtleneck but it's a cropped uh, sweater and i picked this i also have one in like a solid chocolate brown but i picked this mainly because i think 
when it becomes that transitional time of the year, it gets cool in the morning and it's typically cooler in the evenings. So wearing something like this, you don't have to layer it. You could just wear this all day. Um, and if you were at home or in the office, you could obviously control the temperature settings. But if you get too hot, you can rough up the, um, the sleeves or wear something under it and take this off. But I really, one, I love this pattern. I love this color. I have it in a solid chocolate brown, like I said. And I think these are great for those nights and those days where you're going to be out and when it's cooler. Like lately, it's, it hasn't been too humid. So in the mornings or in the evenings, I would grab a tape or something like this. That keeps it casual, maybe like a Saturday outfit. Um, if you're running errands, I've also seen people wear stuff like this and style it that way. So I personally love anything that's cropped, <laughs> anything that's mock, because I don't really like turtlenecks. Um, and it's the material is not thick, so it really is uh, breathable and airy. So in case you ever want an option, I got this from H&M, and this is a size extra large last season, and I love it. I don't think I got a lot of wear out of it last fall, but I definitely want to make sure I put this in my rotation for this season. Okay, next up, I'm gonna quickly touch on blazers. So I am going to try my best really, really soon to film a blazer haul because I love blazers. And you, you good? I see you seeing on me. Are you okay? Um, I, I love blazers and especially a faux leather. Now I did get this a part of the Carolina Barfield Brown collection. The moment I saw this, I, I literally went and grabbed it. Didn't need it, but I needed it. So I love this. I wear this all season long, um, even into the spring months. I just think this is so good. The wear on this is great. I'm, I get multiple uses out of this. You could wear it with a satin dress. You can pair it with a top and some jeans and you know sneakers, flats, heels, whatever. You can pair it with um, a graphic tee. You can pair it with another a vest. There, there's like blazers are just so universal. And they made me so happy because if you ever are like, I don't know what to wear, I promise you, throw on a blazer with anything you have on. Pajamas. And I, I bet you, you will feel like a million bucks. I know you will. I know you would. So yeah, I love this. If you can grab it, get your hands on a faux leather one. I think leather just automatically equates to fall in like the winter months. So when you can, definitely try to get a faux leather one. Um, but if not, I, I have plenty of non-faux leather options, and I love them. I have a really, really cute oversized black one from H&M. I wear that all the time. Um, I didn't pull it off in this video because, again, I'm going to do a blazer haul. However, she's that girl. I wanted to show you another blazer just for variety, mainly because this color is like a nice forest green. I'm hoping it pulls on the camera, but if you can see it, it's a very nice forest green, and I love a good green. Um, I got this blazer from H&M. I typically cuff the sleeves, and it's just, it's perfect, honestly. I literally love this with everything in me. I think it's so cute. It's just a good fall color. I think this pairs well with, like, yellows and browns and whites and blacks and grays. And it's just, it just does something for me, like... I low-key want to put it on right now, but I won't. I just really love a good blazer, and I love a color that most people don't have. And so this is something that was a good buy for me. Hey, get off that. This is something that was a good buy for me, and I think if you find something similar, then you would like it too. Okay, next up is the white button. Now, this is very wrinkled. I'm sorry. And so I'm just going to try to show you this quickly, but any, honestly, any button-up would do. Like, you can get a button-up anywhere. I got mine from Target. I'm going to get a couple of more just because I like to have options and I tend to get my white items dirty quickly just because of makeup and I'm I'm clumsy I spill stuff on me all the time like I'll I miss my lip often so I tend to reuse and try to uh, replenish my whites as often as I can but this button up was from the Avon Viv line from Target so it is uh, plus size and curvy friendly I got this in a 2x and it runs a little bit big on me and I love that I love an oversized look with a button up I think white is just a classic like I said Pair with some denim, pair with some flats, sneakers, heels, whatever, and you have an outfit. It's definitely one of those items you grab when you, again, don't know what to wear and you're not sure what you might need for the occasion that you're going to. So this can be very casual, it can be very dressy, um, it can be very business, it can be very relaxed. So you have plenty, plenty, plenty of ideas and options to choose from when you wear a um, white button up. Okay, last button up, I promise, is denim. I am a denim girl. I think. 
denim is a beautiful easy way to transition from season to season i think you know we have denim jackets for sure but i think most people aren't really getting a lot into denim tops oversized denim tops have been my favorite this last couple of years but i like oversized anything however um i got this one and i have a different wash in in this similar shirt from boohoo as well and again i love this wash i think it pairs good with a denim on denim look so i've worn this top with some denim jeans and you know maybe some brown or flat or black uh, shoe. i've worn it with some brown or black shoes and it just makes the outfit really cute with a nice little brim hat it makes this piece wear universal with a red lip I really just love a denim or denim girl and I think perfect for this transitional season it's perfect for fall I think a lot of times like much how like leather does with winter and fall so does denim I think denim I think a lot about fall I think a lot about the leaves and just the hay rides and just I don't know it, it just makes me it evokes a very specific feeling in my mind and my heart when I think about denim and I think about the fall season so again I got this from boohoo I would do my absolute best to link anything that it may be available but if not i can definitely recommend options where you can get substitutes in case these are no longer available so moving on this is a recent buy from boohoo and i have two i have it in black and i also have it in a cream but it just says design studio and i think every person needs a pullover sweatshirt and or a hoodie so i have this one it's very oversized um I think it's meant to be that way because I got a size 16 I actually sized down and this is oversized on me but it's also like I'm not a tall girl so I don't know I don't know but it's it oversized on me so I think it may be meant to be oversized but anyway I got this from Boohoo I got like I said I got it in cream and black and I just think again similarly to like a blazer you throw it on when it gets chilly in the morning or it's chilly at night you take it off if you're hot in the daytime I have styled this and worn this in the dead heat of summer going to church no regrets i love i just love being comfy and this is comfy this is like you've seen me wear this in vlogs like i'm lounging around the house i might have a quick errand to run and i'm wearing this with like some biker shorts and sneakers or some jeans and some sneakers like i'm very casual when it comes to this and i just think everyone needs an oversized pullover sweater or hoodie as you transition just so you can have something to take off or put on without feeling like you have to completely redo your entire outfit you have something like this and it's really easy to to style okay this is not a button up kind of but it is a corduroy jacket and i think jackets are still very trendy as they were last year um so i got this from altered state as part of my campaign i will link it i will make sure i leave this link below i think they still have jackets for this year as well but again you can wear it with an open tank or t-shirt under this and just have it layered as a jacket per se jacket you can button it all the way up and make it into a shirt so again it's in the name but jacket is very very versatile so you can do jacket or shirt style and roll up the sleeves or leave them long i like to roll up all my sleeves um but very very comfortable this specific piece is very roomy um and stretchable and i think the color is great just to make sure that it can be spring summer or fall um probably not so much in the winter time but i think with any type of cream tan beige base color you get the option and you get the opportunity to mix and match like i could see someone wearing this with a beautiful floral you know dress and some sneakers i could see someone wearing this with a graphic tee and some jeans and some heels i could see someone pairing this as a shirt itself and then wearing trousers like you get a little bit of versatility in the pieces itself um, without feeling like you gotta do too much and i think this color really does look good on any skin tone or any complexion so you can see on me this is how it looks now this next piece i actually have not worn this at all since i got it we need to fix that maybe i'll wear this next week or something i don't know i'm gonna wear it soon but this is from the kaylana barfield brown <laughs> collection as well this is with her denim dress it came in this denim print and it also came in i think like a leopard Ooh, one second it ain't even over you keep watching let me call you right back when i'm finished filming i get you do you want to say hi to the to the people hi people okay, bye, people. <laughs> okay i'll call you right back right. okay <laughs> sorry about that Brittany is watching uh churches to anyway okay anyway back to this video okay so this item came in two different prints it came in this denim and it came in like a i think a brown 
I don't want to say leopard, but it came with some other print. But again, because I'm a classic, easy, breezy kind of girl, a, your girl went denim. Now, I have not worn this yet, and I actually need to style this. So maybe I have a content shoot coming up. Maybe I'll put, incorporate this item into that day. But I think dresses like this are perfect. This is thick enough where you don't need to wear anything with this. You can wear sneakers, you can wear flats, you can wear mules, you can wear heels. You can wear whatever you want to wear with this and this is the uh, this is the moment this is the staple this is the piece um it's very very cute it's thick enough so like when it does get cold colder um you might just need to throw on a, a coat and that's it like that material what material is this it's not telling me but whatever material it is it's holding i think this is also great for like wineries so if you and your girls have like you know wineries planned for september you want to wear this with a little cute little brim hat like chef's kiss okay it's so cute so i actually haven't worn this but i'm gonna make sure i get a lot of use out of this this season because i definitely didn't when i bought it but definitely any type of dress like this that could be transitional you would want to have in the closet now i have a couple of just two types of jeans i didn't want to pull my jeans out because one i did a couple of jean hauls already so these jeans are actually from my target haul that i did i think last may um these are by wild fable but i wanted to pull these out as a staple because i think or a must have because i think it's important that anyone everyone has this type of wash a light denim wash or a dark denim or medium any really type any real type of wash i think is is good I'm not the kind of person where I only wear light wash in the spring and summer and I only wear dark or medium wash in the fall and winter. I wear what I want to wear year round. But what I like about this is one, it is it has like one side that's like ripped on the leg or the knee and then they have frayed ends. And so I just think that's really cute for the fall season mainly because I can wear these with ankle booties and I can really make the the pop of the frayed jeans work i think this is really great because they're straight legs so they're not ankle booties where you, ankles ankles skinny child was called skinny legs where i can like tuck it in you can also do that but i think a lot of us are getting more away from the skinny leg trend and we're really focusing on straight leg and wild leg and mom jeans and that 90s relaxed fit so i wanted to just show you one example of a denim that i'm going to wear in the fall that you could too. Um, the rip just adds a little va va room. The distress adds a little va va room to it. But I think if you have any denim jean, that or the ones I'm wearing now, which are my Abercrombie jeans, you really can't go wrong. And then this example, I've worn these in the black, but these are linen pants. And I pulled these out because while it is still hot and you still want to have a traditional piece, I think linen pants do a great job of that. This can probably carry me up until the middle of September, just depending on where you live. Like it's gonna get, stay relatively warmish, coolish for the next few weeks. It doesn't really hit fall weather until like September, late September, early October, and even mid October. So um, I think these are great to wear. I've worn the black ones plenty of times. I actually haven't worn these yet. The tag is still very much on them. So I need to get some use out of these. So yeah, I think linen pants are great. I just wanted to pull out one example um, and I also like the color. I think this is a really fall color. So I can pretty much wear this, I think, up until it gets like super, super, super cold. And still feel like I'm cute, I'm casual, I'm comfortable because this material is breathable. So yeah, if you have a linen pant, don't pack them away just yet. You can probably carry that into the summer. I'm just, you probably carry that until September, if not early October, depending on where you live. The last thing I wanted to show is a set. So I'm a big lover of cropped tops and i'm a big lover of sweat um suits like i love a matching set of really anything so this is from la vu which is adrian balance um, or adrian houghton's line i love these sweatpants these are literally onyx you gotta you gotta move my guy you gotta move these are so incredibly comfortable what i love about them is that they have the stretch they have a little bit of the symbol on the side of the pant leg and then they have that like that leg that hugs your ankle so i love wearing these with sneakers primarily you could also wear them just like van style sneakers but i like to wear like actual like sneakers with them and then it came i got the matching top and so this top is a little bit cropped and um i wear this top all the time so wear this i typically wear like a long bra let or sports bra under it because it does have a little bit of peekaboo 
where my where my chest ends and my stomach begins so i typically wear this cropped top with something under it just so that way you you won't see my bra but you'll see like the bra the sports bra or whatever and i'll wear that on its own with jeans with whatever a skirt if i wanted to and then i can pair this pant with this the matching top or i can pair it with a graphic tee and sneakers and maybe a blazer like it helps me really channel my athleisure look and feel um and i'm comfortable like these are some of the most comfortable sweat pants and then the last thing i want to show you guys um are some sneaker options or shoe options that are great for transitions i think i have a lot more but i just wanted to pull out really like a couple like two or three just so you can get a sense of okay i what you might have in your closet if you're not trying to shop brand new or shop anything and then what do you already have in your closet that could work for this so i'm a lover of booties now i got these from target last year and when i tell you i have worn them i think i've literally worn these all year long but there's not been a day where i haven't worn these these cream ankle booties are so stinking cute they are so comfortable i got them in the white i got them in the brown because i needed options and i think they have them still on the target app so i'll definitely link them below and then these are oldie but goodies these are my snakeskin babies now if this one's screen fall i don't know what it does but look at this shoe like look at this shoe y'all like can we get into it real fast? It's so cute. I have worn these for years. I think I got these, I think from Boohoo. I think I got these from Boohoo maybe like three or four years ago. And they last, like there's nothing. The sole of the feet are good. Like everything about this shoe is still good. I have not had any issues with them. They're one of my favorite shoes to wear in the fall and the winter. And I genuinely get my bang for my buck. Like I get my wear out of those shoes. The next ones, um, you don't have to have this exact pair. I did get these from Target recently, um, but these are some flat mules, and I just really like them. I'm actually wearing them with this outfit that I have one today. You probably, by the time you saw this video, you've seen my TikTok and or my reels about them and my YouTube shorts. Like I already did the short form content for these, but these are just really cute, and I wanted like a little razzle dazzle, so I got the buckle one. They have a bunch of options in the Target app, a bunch, and I'm only trying to buy shoes. Uh, that i do not already own like i'm not trying to buy additional colors i just want shoes that i don't own that are gonna add value to my collection so i got these and so far i've been wearing them around all day they're very comfortable they fit i got a size 10 um i'm a 9 10 but i tend to go towards the 10 just because i like the room and i think with shoes like this i was nervous that they might be too big that my foot would slip out but i haven't had any issues with that also this material is suede so just cute you know what i mean it's just cute anyway that is this video so i hope that this summer to fall transition like must have uh video was helpful to you guys let me know in the comments let me know in the comments what you guys think if there's any piece that you think i should add or consider a must have let me know i would love to talk about it and thank you guys so much for watching again i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you leave a comment so we can talk about all things fashion and fall in the chat um excuse me what, what do you want to say thank you guys so so much for watching i love you guys and i will see you in my next video but until then be well do well and be safe and i'll catch you in my next one bye